Welcome to this week's Scheme of the Week, Man 25 Gamers. In today's episode, we're going to talk about base play breakdown out of the Green Bay Packers uh, Scheme of the Week. Now, this playbook is the Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook, and we're running with the Pittsburgh Steelers on defensive playbook, but uh, this is mainly your offensive portion. And let's take a look at our main formation here, the shotgun doubles out of the Indianapolis Colts playbook. And our base play for this offense is the wide receiver drag, a popular play I like to use last season. And let's talk about why this play is so good. Um, the reason this play is so good is because it flows very easily. It works very well together. All the routes, you really don't have to hot route anything on this play and it will work. Um, your first read on the play is going to be your wheel route to your running back. A lot of times this is going to get open. Uh, it's not an everyday wheel route. You see it's a little bit slanted, a little better. And uh, we like to use that. We like to lob it a lot. Uh, and just get the ball to Jacob Lacey in space and, and give him an opportunity to make a play. You know, uh, it's not always open against cover four, but here I'm going to audible to two man under, and you're going to see this is going to get uh, a lot more separation on two man under than most wheel routes will. And uh, we're just going to be able to get the ball out of our hands quick and, and, and get the ball to our running back. The next read on this play is the drag route, which is, uh, if you know how to throw it pop properly, could be one of the most effective routes in Madden 25. It's going to beat zone, and then if they're in a man coverage, if you pass lead up, it's going to beat man coverage. As you see there, right there, it's going to beat it. And uh, Jordy Nelson is going to be able to, to crush man now, so we're crushing man and zone from our first two reads. Um, the next read on this play is going to be Joe Michael Finley on the in route. Typically, he's going to be open if they try to come down on the drag, so right there, you see he's going to break open. If Jermichael Michael Finley's not open, this is going to be a situation that's going to indicate possibly a cover to sink. And if that happens, then that means that our fourth read, Randall Cobb, is going to be breaking across the middle wide open. We need to click on and user catch that and uh, get big with Randall Cobb. And the last read on this play typically won't be open. It's just a man-to-man -man coverage read mainly. But James Jones, when he cuts to the inside, click on, and you're just going to go catch the ball. Just like last year, it's a really effective route. Now, if you want to wait for this route to cut to the outside so you don't have to click on, that is also a possibility. Just a fair warning, it's not the best, but it does get some separation. So that's wide receiver drag, guys. Uh, let's take a look at our quick audibles here. So our quick audibles we like to have is the play slants. We talked about that in our sim tip of the week. Um, see, it gets covered three. We're only, only read on this play is whether Randall Cobb gets pressed or not. Here he's going to get pressed, so I know that I'm going to hit circle on the back edge slant. Um, typically, typically that's all you have to do on this play. I, I'm being dead serious. And then if they're in cover four, he doesn't get pressed, and you know you're going to square. So it's just a matter of if he goes, if he gets pressed, I throw to the right. If he doesn't get pressed, I throw to the left. Uh, it's a situation where they may be two men under, and they press coverage. This could indicate cover three. Okay. Then we just throw it a circle. That I forgot to audible to slants. But you're going to see here, two men under, press it, slants. He gets bumped. Okay, I've got to hit Nelson, who's going to be off the press because of that high BPR rating. And you see we're going to get the ball to him in space. So that's the slants play. It beats man in the zone. Uh, next, Ottawa I felt necessary was having the halfback mid draw, and you see the mid draw is just a simple play, but we do a lot with it, and it's just really effective. It keeps the defense on their toes, and allows us to to hit them up the middle. Next play I want to talk about is the PA Colt seams, and this is a kind of an X factor play for you. Uh, when you feel like you want to take a shot deep, uh, you think he may be in two men under or whatever. Two men under is typically the defense people call not to get beat deep. Well, this PA Colt seems the only read that we need on this play is we're going to put Nelson on a smart routed out route, and then we're going to put Lacey, we're just going to block him. At the snap of the ball, the only read we're looking at is to the right to see if we can hit the out. Here it's man coverage, we can hit the out route, and we'll just take that, take that, take that. But what if they maybe go two men under, and they adjust your out route, so they put Williams in a hook zone, and now he's going to sit on that route. Well, this is where this this comes into handy. Is look to the right. Okay, it's not there. I'm just gonna pass lead. Um, that was a poor pass lead by Aaron Rodgers there. But you don't even actually. You're not supposed to pass lead. My bad, guys. Uh, I found out later it was early, better not to pass lead this. But you're just gonna pass lead, or not pass lead, but bullet pass Randall Cobb here. So watch this. Wait for him to light up and then pass. Just bullet pass and. He's either gonna, they're either going to swat it down or he's going to burn the defense. Um, it actually happened more times for me the other day when I was working on this. 
he actually burns the defense a lot more times than not. There you see. I mean, that's what I mean. That's one on one. Randall Cobb on a corner. I mean, on a lot on a slot corner at best. I mean, I'll take this for days. And then cover four. Like I said, if they're cover four, you know, this is going to do a really good job of beating. You're just going to have to throw it a little earlier there. I don't know what happened with the pass protection, but it affected my pass. But if they run cover two or cover four, <laughs> um, this is going to do a really nice job of beating it. And this is one of those plays we like to have in our formation to always be able to access it because you never know when you're going to call it, but you always want to at least call it once or twice a drive, I would suggest. Um, so... Here real quick, we'll show it to you one last time against two men under. See if we can't get the There there it is. You see that? See that? That's exactly what I'm saying. Bullet pass it, they just don't react to the ball, and you're gone with you're gone with uh, Cobb. And like I said, you know, a lot of people don't protect deep against two men under because they just feel like they don't have to. And then now you mix this in and, and, and you start dotting them there and then they're they're gonna be in trouble. Uh, Four days on this one on this play next play is Indy fade whip all we want to do here is we want to run Cobb on a flat route Jones on a smart routed out route and Eddie Lacy on a streak first read on this play is Randall Cobb quick to the flats typically that's not going to be open but then we have a curl flat read here so basically we're just reading the curl to flat on this play so here, look, okay, nope, that's curl to flat. I'll just take my flat, and then Randall Cobb make a play for me. And then if they're in cover three, or if they're in two men under, rather, you're going to see that uh, the out route will beat man coverage. So we can just use that concept. And then if they're in cover three, the out route will beat that zone coverage, and we can just take that out route to the outside there. So that's the basic play, con basic concept we like to use on this play. But then the, the rest of it is we're going to look to our fade route first on the right. And we're just going to try to make a user catch on it. So we're going to click on hold L2 and go to the inside. Okay, we see one on one. Click on go to L2 and go to the inside. Sometimes, you know, that's going to happen. You just got to live with that. You got to work on your user catch, you know. Uh, some people have it. Some people don't. I probably don't have it most of the time. So uh, I throw a lot more picks than not just because I'm not very good with my user skill yet. But you see, when you do it right, I mean, you can you can really body him up. So I'm trying to get a good example here for you guys of what it might look like. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. And, and you see, he just gets in front of him. And then after you read that, um, the next read is the zig route. Not there, and then we just go to the zig and try to get our hurdle game on, which is Michael Finley. And if that's not there, that's going to mean that it's probably like a cover zero blitz situation where they're trying to take away this, this, and that. And and this is something I really like this year out of the um, out of the max coverage defenses. Uh, I like putting that running back on a streak. And like I said, if they're max covering, something like this. And you're going to see that Eddie Lacy is just going to roast his finner. Wait, 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 wait. Turns his head, and then you could just roast him right there with Eddie Lacy. Just uh, pass lead up. And it's just for some reason it works. Um, it's really more effective against zone right there. But it's also effective against man. So it's, it's just something you can use. And for example, if they're cover zero blitzing and he's on that streak, wait for him to go, 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 go. And then now pass it to the inside, click on him, make a catch. But if they're like, um, I think I was in zone there. Let me go to a cover zero blitz here. Let's see if I have one. Silver suit pinch, yep. So watch Eddie Lacy here. Cover zero, cover zero, cover zero, and they just lob it, lob it up as soon as he breaks. And you see he just crushes that man defender. So just something you guys could use in your offense. Hopefully this is a pretty decent base formation. Obviously this is not all the scheme. This is kind of just the main play. You're going to be running wide receiver drag probably 100% uh, of the time as your base play. And then if they make you get out of it, you're going to get out of it. But you don't want to. Ideally you stay in wide receiver drag all game because of the ease at which it is to move the ball out of this play. It's phenomenal. The reads are very, very effective. And uh, we just take advantage of these drags, and it just makes the game a lot easier to play. So be sure to check out the rest of this guide. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you in the next episode.